The deadly varroa mite has devastated our local bee industry and there are fears tonight it may never be eradicated. One hunter beekeeper believes potentially infected hives are slipping through the cracks and his bees were euthanised only after he contacted the department. It's a sorry sight, 60 hives destroyed, millions of bees lost. It's a lot of lost time and effort, um, several years takes to build up hives that we, that we had. Martin is the hunter's only mead manufacturer, an ancient alcoholic drink made by fermenting his local honey with water and spices. Like other producers, his bees had to be euthanised, but it took four months for that to happen. I got a bit concerned that uh, no one had contacted me, so when I contacted them uh, about three weeks ago, just to ask why is it taking so long, what's going on, um, I found out they had no idea I existed. The Department of Primary Industries was quick to destroy the hives, blaming the delay on a misunderstanding. We don't collect um, the specific locations that beekeepers put their hives at, and that's where we were asking anyone with beehives in those areas whether their address is registered in those areas or not to report the location of those hives to us. A process that's mandatory, but Martin questions if the mite will ever be fully eradicated. A lot of people have slipped through the cracks. Of the reported hives in the eradication zones, almost 99% have been euthanised. The state government says it's confident New South Wales can eradicate varroa mite, reporting a sharp decline in the number of cases detected in recent months. The focus now, baiting feral colonies. As for Honeywines Australia, stock is running low. Even if I were to start again today, it would be probably two years before I can harvest again. Claudia Vridoljak, NBN News.